Let's go over volume focused ventilator modes. First, we have assist control, also called volume control. This mode delivers a set number of breaths per minute, each with a set tidal volume. This is the amount of air delivered with each breath. We also set the FiO2 or the percentage of oxygen being inhaled. This is typically a short-term mode due to the risk of ventilator-induced lung injury. While the patient can trigger breaths, each one still delivers a full tidal volume, so the ventilator may still be doing most of the work of breathing. If a patient breathes more frequently on their own, the ventilator will still deliver the full present tidal volume with each triggered breath. This can be more comfortable for patients who feel the urge to breathe faster, but it also puts them at risk for respiratory alkalosis due to blowing off too much CO2. Another volume mode is synchronous intermittent mandatory ventilation or SIMV. This delivers the set tidal volume for the minimum required or mandatory breaths. Any extra breaths the patient takes beyond that are spontaneous and use only the volume the patient generates on their own. The respiratory rate and FiO2 are also present in this mode, but SIMV allows for more spontaneous breathing. That's all for some common vent modes. What other vent modes have you seen at your clinical unit? Happy studying, future nurses.